We're back. Got an exciting set of circumstances today. Folks, um, I'm out on the road here and I'm heading to uh, the home of a person that I was connected with who would like me to help them sell some items. Uh, and it's not just one person. <laughs> I'm meeting with somebody this morning and then early afternoon, I'm meeting with somebody else. Now, this is a part of our job. Uh, sometimes I'm buying and selling my own things, things I've found personally. Either I sourced online or I found them at places like antique stores, estate sales, yard sales, thrift stores, and the like. But today uh, is in a unique circumstance where I'm meeting with not one but two different individuals to, to gather some things. And so with, with regard to this type of piece of our business, I'm not only, um, you know, buying and selling my own stuff, but I'll work out a deal to help someone sell something that maybe was theirs, maybe they inherited it, maybe um, they don't care about it anymore, they notice it has some value, and they would rather have the money than the item itself, and so we work out some sort of deal where I explain, hey, listen, I'm gonna sell this online. If it's on eBay, they take a percentage and yada yada, but after that's done, if whatever is remaining becomes the whole, then we work out a percentage of what I will take for my work for the for for taking possession and storing the item securely photographing repairing cleaning listing and then fulfilling shipping the item once it's um, done and since I have a 30-day basically no questions asked uh, return policy I pay out once a month but I have to wait for that 30-day period to come uh, to pass before I pay out otherwise I run a risk of selling something then paying that money out to the person who it belonged to and then at the 11th hour somebody wanting to return it then I, I don't have the money I've already paid it out right so I have to hold on to that everything in my business I'm operating on about a 30 to 45 day window meaning I could have hundreds or thousands of dollars of worth of um, of money that I've earned from selling items that is not really, uh, I'm not really allowed to use it yet because I need to be absolutely guaranteed that that money is going to stay in the business and not have to go right back out again. So that's what I'm doing this morning. First thing, uh, I got a uh, help flow, get the little ends to school. Then uh, I did a little bit of fulfillment this morning of items that sold over the weekend. I'm gonna go meet with this individual, get some items coming back to the warehouse. But on the way there, you know, of course, I'm probably gonna stop by and uh, hit a thrift store or two just to see and uh, what they might have. And then I'll do a little bit of work, probably do some assessment of the items that I gathered today. The hope is that I'll have all of that stuff listed and available for sale by the end of the week. I try to get this stuff going quickly, you know, Peaches is going to help me out. Other workers at the warehouse will kind of divvy it up. We'll we'll get ourselves in certain rooms and make sure that we have our space available, and uh, it'll all be good. This is a, a part of it. We're excited to help people out. I love helping people solve problems, working with people in the community. It's great rapport building, and then, you know, if they have a good experience, they spread the word, word of mouth, and then maybe we, we find other people who are needing this same service, and then we're just building a catalog of references. If people are like, well, have you done this before? And I can say, yes, sir, or yes, ma'am, and here are some people. You, you, uh, you don't have to take my word for it speak with these people these people that we work with and they can tell you if they liked uh, the experience or not and uh, sometimes we have repeat customers as well it just sort of depends so excited to get out there later in this video I hope that we can show you some of these things at least one of these individuals I'm working with today has some pretty high-end items I, I imagine uh, based on what they described some really nice artisanal um, statues uh, some some uh, designer handbags and other things uh, another individual we got some jewelry we'll look at and even on top of that we'll show you a bunch of stuff that 
we have uh, brought into house the stuff that we've personally sourced in the last couple of weeks that we're going to go through, talk about. We got some high end fine jewelry, silver and gold. We got some costume jewelry, and then just various vintage and antique smaller items, which is our bread and butter. Oh my goodness, folks, we're back now from our first outing today. I got all the stuff unloaded here in this room of the warehouse, and my goodness, I have not looked through any of these yet, but just based on the description of stuff, I'm very excited about what we have here today. So why don't you join me, as if you're here, and let's start looking through this stuff, figure out what's here, and if we have an idea of the value right away, I'll give it. Otherwise, you can help me know what's going on. If you see something that you know about already or you have an idea of the value, please leave a comment um, and help me out because uh, I know uh, I'm always thirsty to learn more. and Hopefully you are too, but let's get right into this. Well, as you can see, we've got several tubs worth of items here. Uh, boxes and tubs, and this is what we're going to be going through today here, folks. But I'll just show you real fast. Uh, we have, uh, I have completed the, uh, the work on this uh, lovely uh, painting where I did some restorative work. You may recall from a previous video that um, there were some major issues, uh, some holes and tears that uh, old Rusty had to do some work and repair. And uh, I'll just try to show you a few. There's an area here by the armpit I had to repair. This one right here in the sternum area. <clears throat> there was a spot up here that I had to glue back. And then there's a couple more areas down in here. You can kind of see them here, and the reason that they stand out right now is that I have not put varnish on them yet, but I will. You've got a couple others here and here and here. Once I get these varnished and get that clear coating on there, you're not even going to notice a really major repair here at the bottom of the arm. And I got a little bit more touch-up to do to kind of mask uh, the grays in this area. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And then when it dries, I'll varnish, and then it will be done. I've actually done this for um, someone who uh, watches the channel, listens to our podcast, the What Sold podcast. I hope she's happy with the work I've done here because now she is in uh, the best possible condition now uh, in order to be sold to someone. And so I'm very excited about that. But why don't we just jump in here to some of this stuff and see what we're looking at. Let's just start here with this bag and see what's going on. It looks like we got a bunch of t-shirts and... And I'm hoping that this is <clears throat> band t-shirts. Yes, it is. Look at this. Right out of the gate, we've got a nice U2 band uh, shirt here, concert shirt. Um, we'll have to look up with tags. This is one of the ways you know uh, whether this is an original or not. And it does look like it is an original, authentic uh, tour t-shirt. If I flip her over here, we're looking at the 1987 Fall Joshua Tree. Oh man, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Anytime you get um, concert ones that have the venues where they were at on their tour, that's especially nice. <clears throat> okay, so we got you two. What else are we going to be looking at here? Um, maybe my, is that Mike and the Mechanics? Uh, what do we, what do we got here? Let's flip her over and take a look. Okay. Uh, the living, uh, living years. Yes, this would be Mike, Mike and the Mechanics. The living years. I love that song. Uh, man, they were in Zurich. These are in Europe. So let's flip her over to the front and take a look at this nice, authentic Mike and the Mechanics tour concert t-shirts. Um, looks like the tag has long since been pulled out, but I can tell you it needs a little bit of cleaning, maybe a little bit of dog hair or something here. Not a big deal. <clears throat> we'll check it out. That's customary with old t-shirts. Sometimes you find that they just need to be cleaned a little bit. Here is, uh, what do we got here? Robert Plant, well-known uh, singer from Led Zeppelin. This is the 1988 tour. Oh, man, so late 80s. This is just the prime area. It's a, the, the non-stop go world tour. Awesome t-shirt. Now, these are all probably, these could be all be $100 t-shirts. No joke. Each one of them, I would guess. It looks like we got some Paul McCartney here. That's awesome. He was a Beatle. Uh, arguably the most, uh, the most, uh, 
talented of all the Beatles. You can argue with me if you want. That's fine. I don't have a strong opinion, although I do like what Mr. McCartney brought to the band. Looking at 1989-1990, so this is long after the Beatles um, stopped touring, and uh, McCartney was on his own. Here's another world tour uh, featuring U.S. cities and European cities. Uh, that's wonderful. And then in the bottom here, we got some, some little uh, fun little things on the side so we've got a little looks like a little keepsake uh enamel and metal uh little box a little jewelry box or something and then here is a cool uh vogue like a vogue magazine uh cover artwork here by the Vogue company here on the back, made in Italy. So this is not terribly old, but I'm sure it's collectible. Wow, well that was a great little start, it was it not? Gonna go right to this little bag right here. It's quite heavy. Feels like it might have metal of some kind in it or something heavy. Oh, well, looks like we got some little plates and some dishes. Are those dishes? No, these are stands, wooden stands that must go with for some sort of statues or something that uh, are in one of these other i think it's in this big one right here so we'll come back to that let's take a look here what do we got in this small container some things wrapped up chico's chico's all right what do we got wrapped up in here in some chico's uh paper oh nice okay these look like, yes, I think they are. These look like ornaments, and they I think that they are Chico's branded ornaments. Let's see if I can move this little finicky leg out of the way so that you hang down correctly. There we go. Now that's sweet. This is uh, incorporates um, some beadwork with some like little pieces of glass or plastic and multicolored metal. And so look at that. That's nice. I wonder, I'll have to look closely to see if it's actually branded and if this is actually Chico's brand or not. Here's another one. Oh, and look at this. It does have a Chico's tag on it. So these are um, actual Chico's brand ornaments. And it looks like there are a handful in here. Some of them have the original tags on them, which is awesome for people who like original items that are in the original packaging. We'll have to do some research on that. Okay, we're looking at, you got 90s band t-shirts. We've got um, stands for statues. We've got uh, ornaments. And then here we got some Baccarat uh, boxes. And what's, in, what's inside of one of these? And let me see if I can open her up without... Here we are. Oh, nice. So it looks like we have some little... Um, Baccarat. Okay, so we got the original tag in here. That's nice. And then these look like uh, glass or crystal, most likely. Yep. Crystal. Let's see if I can zoom in on that and get the, get the light just right. Yes, look. Do you see that they're branded on the bottom? Backrest. So these are nice. These are like little paperweights, or maybe they're like little, um, they're just made to be, um, looks like a, a crescent moon here with an eye. That's cool. So it's either a little uh, crystal sculpture or a paperweight. Very nice. So I'm guessing there are multiples of those in here as well. Some in the original boxes and some not. Those will definitely sell. Definitely collectible. And in the bottom here we have, um, Looks like a plate of some kind. Ooh, that's nice. Very Art Deco looking. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful Art Deco design. You can see that from like the edge here. Gilt uh, on the side. Per perhaps hand painted. Beautiful. And then let's see here. It's this brand. What are these? Uh, Este, maybe? Is this like an Este Lauder situation? Is this a uh, Erst? I don't know, but it's from 1988. And this one, it's made in Germany. And uh, Moonlight is the name of this particular uh, example. And then we've got at least, oh, look at this view. Yeah, look at that. That's nice, another nice plate, beautiful design. And I don't know, I don't see on the back what it says, but I'll have to look that up. But then look at this, there's others. Another beautiful one here of a woman. Um, 
nice, nice that they have um, these in, in between in order to, look at this, that's a beauty too. Oh my, kind of mixing some Art Nouveau and some Art Deco and you got a signature down here, um, designs, uh, a, a kind of a, um, perhaps a transitional period piece. Here's one with a lot of gold leaf on it. Oh my goodness, this is probably, uh, 22 carat or something gold leaf. You've got um, an old script style monogram here of initials, probably whoever bought this originally. And this is a Wilhelm and Descent Ye in New York. And you can see you've even got the stamp marks here. I'm not familiar with that brand, but I'm definitely going to look it up. I'm excited by that. Good condition, too. Okay, so let's jump into this up here. Uh, we're, we're dealing with some pretty high-end brands here so far. <laughs> Medium to high-end high, high -end brands. What do we got? Well, folks, this, uh, this uh, right here um, is the Swarovski Crystal um, stamp with that swan. So these are stands, again, that I guess are for something maybe that's in here. Something that is a Swarovski crystal branded item. And these are kind of heavy, so I would not be surprised if this is uh, a piece of crystal. Let's, uh, let's pull it out. Yes. Here is Swarovski Collector Society. Okay, so there's a little piece. What else do we got here? Some more Swarovski crystal pieces. So these are multiple smaller items, it looks like. That's a nice Harlequin. And they've got the name of the designer on that. Wow. All right. So, okay. So and here's another, another nice piece. Look at that. 2001. Nice. So I don't know what the... I mean, I know that some Swarovski stuff can be quite collectible. Um, so that's nice. Surely these are not to display this unless you were to put multiple pieces on there. I'm guessing... Oops, I don't want to miss that one. I'm guessing that uh, some of these in boxes are maybe quite large or larger pieces. You can see one right here that is... Uh, it looks like a, 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 an acrobat or a clown or something. Let's just take a little look see here. So we got a whole box. That's nice. Sometimes these boxes and containers can be sold by themselves. Although this one I wouldn't uh, sell separately because you can see that the foam in here has been created to hold this exact specific piece. And yes, once again, we have... Um, ah, this is not a clown. So my guess is this is almost like um, set up to be like a... Um, Oh, what do they call those uh, balls or things you can go to where you can put a mask on? Uh, but this is beautiful piece of crystal. Um, and you've got this, this person in this like outfit, green stones for the buttons, the red rose, the black mask. That's a really cool color. You've got the frosted glass on the bottom, which is beautiful. And then the regular glass on the top. Um, this is, you know, it's in, it's in the branded box, so you know it's authentic. Uh, beautiful piece. Beautiful piece. I guess it was in here like this. Yes, I don't want it to um, to be damaged in any way. That's going to make it so nice for shipping because it'll keep it from being damaged. Well, okay, so we got a bunch of Swarovski crystal... Um, pieces that are uh, very they vary in size it looks like so nice uh all right let's move on to the next all right moving on to the next i'm getting excited because it seems like things are just getting better and better like nicer brands oh my goodness <laughs> okay oh all right, so we have, it looks like potentially some coach brands in here. It looks like Chanel. Um, and these, uh, I mean, I needed to really inspect them close, but these all look pretty authentic to me um, so far. Uh, nice leather, leather uh, little purses, handbags. Oh my goodness, looks like Gucci's in here. Here's Coach. 
you can see here we got the number and everything this one's definitely got some heavy wear and some stains in it so i mean it'll still sell uh, people still collect these even if they're not in the, the best of condition this one looks a little bit uh rough however uh depending on the type and when it was made and stuff uh there could be some really uh good values in here oh this is just gorgeous look at this piece this has got to be quite a bit older than these others Look at the enamel uh, paint on this, the glaze. Then around it is is uh, beads, hand beaded with a string. And then look at the top, folks, this entire portion up here. This is just absolutely gorgeous, folks. I'm, and I don't wear handbags, okay? So it's not it's not that. I'm just saying the, the, the work here, the detail work is quite nice. Inside, we've got this brand, a la... Rendez Rue Streets. This is probably French, would be my guess, but I don't actually know. I'll have to do some research on that, but I can tell. And it's a good, it's older, but it's uh, it's in pretty good condition. Okay, so um, set that to the side. What do we have here? Uh, this looks like a little bit of a cheaper item, though some of these others, man, this is also exquisite. Look at the rhinestone work on these. And uh, luckily, let me see if I can zoom in here. Luckily, it looks like they're all intact, at least on that side. Over here as well, beautiful bags. Uh, I don't know, I guess you gotta press them in on both sides in order to open it. Made in France, these are original French pieces gorgeous gorgeous really good condition and just very very attractive i don't know the brand i'll have to look it up it's possible these are chanel as well here's another one look at the beadwork on these someone had really uh high-end tastes here france made in france original french oh my goodness there there's <laughs> There could be thousands of dollars worth of inventory in this one case. I'm not kidding you. Look at this. Look at, I mean, just look at this. Gorgeous. I bet this is a beautiful leather on the inside, too. Oh, my. Whew. Look at that. This is a Gucci uh, branded. You can see right here. Beautiful leather. Green leather here. Gucci. You got the symbol. This Man, oh man, cousins. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this. Now, the good thing is that uh, if I were to sell this on eBay, for example, you can utilize their um, their service of authentication. So if this sells, it's going to go to a third-party um, group of, of workers who are employed by, uh, by eBay just to examine and authenticate these. Oh man, look at this pair of Chanel, probably clip-on earrings, I would assume. Yes, indeed, in the original box. Whew. All right, my goodness gracious. There are some ladies watching this video right now, and they're just, they're just drooling all over themselves. We're gonna have to go change their blouse, their 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 shirts after this. Oh, <laughs> more. More Gucci items, or, or uh, uh, Chanel rather. Oh man. Okay, so we got some jewelry in here. Whew. Okay, jewelry items. Oh, what are we having? Okay, we got some old, some old glasses. I don't know the brands. I'll have to, I'll have to take a look. What do we got? Are these branded in any type of brand? I'm not going to be able to see it, show it probably on this, but. I'll take a look. Um, we're missing a, a lens in here, but sometimes people buy these just for the frames and they'll put their own lenses in it. All right, you guys have been staring at this box just as long as I have, so we need to look in it. We need to look in it and see what's going on here. Oh my goodness. Wow. I hope, I hope, hope, hope for this person that I'm selling this for that these are all authentic. Because they are going to have some, they're going to get some incredible returns, some incredible money. This is an exquisite, high, super high end handbag. I'm going to open it up here. It looks like it's never been taken out of the box. 
it's still got the oh my look at this it's still got the paper inside of it this is like a it's like a it's a very soft material i don't know what this is um but and the gold hardware on it shoe and, okay let me get this repackaged and we'll restart here okay well st we're still going just in this one tub just in this one tub what do we have here let me try to slide this out this is a uh, oh this is a juicy couture uh box of something in it uh i suppose we should I suppose we should take a look. Let me pull the whole thing out. Open this puppy up. Okay, here we are. Nice. So the suggested retail price, because it still has a tag on it, was $88 at the time. Now, what did it actually sell for? I don't know. But uh, but it's going to get max value because it's got the original tag. It's in the original box. So that's very nice. It looks like someone was a collector. Maybe they did uh, wear some of these things. A couple of them have a little bit of wear. But several of these uh, <clears throat> have not really been used or worn a whole lot. Don't look like. Look at this. A beautiful hand-beaded uh, uh, holder for a beautiful um, little tortoiseshell comb made in France so it's another French piece and it has and, and all the little all the little uh, teeth are still in it so it's not been damaged that's awesome here's a couple more little pouches hand bead look at this beadwork hand beaded uh, uh, sewn or embroidered here this is like a pouch uh, that what kind of what kind of tag do we have here um, let's take a look See, I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm just so excited. It's like, shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody we got this box here, or this tub. Oh, uh, this one's made in France. So this is an original French uh, uh, hand beaded. My goodness, these are beautiful. Another one, beautiful beads. Flip it over onto this side. This is like a little purse as well. Man. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this. Just more, more and more, like nice. This is a brand called Fendi, F-E-N-D-I. And you can see that right there, Fendi, uh, S-A-S. My goodness, still pretty good condition of that one as well. I'm gonna move that over. Okay, we've got, look at this beautiful leather. Oh my goodness, it's just, these have not been used, folks. Real high quality leather pieces here. Look at these, look at this. Man, that is nice. This is Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. So we have, we have Chanel, we have Louis Vuitton, we have, um, we have Gucci. It's just like these are all these high-end brands. All these really high. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in the right position. I don't want to damage it. Um, man, this is someone who likes high-end brand um, like bags and satchels and stuff are just going to eat this stuff up. Here is another one, another beautiful Louis Vuitton uh, billfold. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff, folks. <sighs> Another Chanel, it's quite heavy. I don't know what's in it. Here's another Gucci, a Gucci uh, 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 thing. Here's another one, another billfold. Still got the little insert in it, so it looks like it's never been worn or used. Unbelievable. I have never, I have no, oh my goodness. This is a large, uh, a long, beautiful belt, a, 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 a Chanel belt. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. I, and here's the thing, folks. I actually think that these are legitimate. I don't know. I, you know, I can't, I'm not an authority on this, but um, uh, this is such a, such a lot of coach. This is a gigantic. Here's a, actually, that's the bottom one. What's this one right here that I'm looking at? 
it's all buckled up so I can't actually tell. I'm gonna have to unbuckle it, unbuckle this puppy. Uh, I think it's a purse. Oh, there we go, undo it. Uh, this is a, a brand called Machino, Machino. And then this is a large coach purse here. And this looks like mink to me right here, this. And it's got a sewn in pouch. My goodness, my goodness. Folks, uh, I mean, there are, there are thousands. If these end up being authentic, this one tub, I mean, $10,000, $15,000 worth of inventory, if these are authentic, whew, I'm about to sweat. Okay, cousins, I am so excited. I mean, we have all of this stuff left, and what what what's going to be here? I mean, we just... I've never had that level of high dollar value purses and handbags in in through in the warehouse in, in such a small container before. Ne never done it. So let's take a look at what we got now down in here. <clears throat> okay, so got some stuff. All right, well, just from initial look, I'm assuming that this handle is sterling silver. Let's see if there's any sort of mark on here. That would indicate that if I can see it. Usually it's on the side or on the end if it's if it's marked. And I'm looking to see. It it, it, it has to be. I would I would assume because of how different the handle looks, if not sterling, then it would be silver plated, most likely. Sometimes they're really sneaky about where they mark it. So I'll have to do some more uh uh, uh searching, but it, it says uh, Matilda and Dean, and it has a it has a date. So this was probably for somebody's wedding. It was like a wedding gift. All right, so we got some silver plated or or silver items. It looks like this is an interesting looking. Uh, uh, I would assume it's a compact. I don't see a brand, but let's see if we can. Uh, well, that's a very interesting way of of opening. Okay, you got to slide it over, and then it pops up. And what do we have? What's the brand here? Lynn Brin, a Lynn Brin creation. Look at this patent, Lynn Brin. It's got the patent number. It's a beautiful Art Deco style. And then you want to push the, I guess you'd push the little button. One of these ways this thing would pop open here, uh, perhaps from this side, or is that the side that it hinges on? Uh, I think you, yeah, I think you move this over. There we go, and it pops up. Cool. Oh, Lynn Brin creation. This is nice. And then, then here would be powder or something like that. Uh, yeah, here's a little powder, and it doesn't look like it has ever been used. It's, it doesn't have any powder in it, but that's what you'd use to powder your face. And you'd look at your face in the in the mirror. That's a cool little piece. And you got this really nice um, decoration, kind of like a, a Victorian era or before uh, of that. Okay, so that's neat. <clears throat> Looks like we've got other things in here. Possibly some some silver plated uh, jiggers, maybe some like little uh, or little uh, cordial glasses. This let's see what the brand says on here. Let's see what is that. I can't even see what it's. I can't even tell what it says. Can you see it? Or four. Eight three five. Okay, so these these might be um these might be silver. Nine two five would be sterling, but it's possible that these are silver. If not, they're silver plated. Is my guess. Um, got several little uh, things that these are wrapped in. Cool. Oh, this is a beautiful little uh, dish here. Look at that. Very Art Nouveau with floral, that kind of thing. And flip her over. Yep, this is sterling silver. What a nice piece. What a nice piece. And I don't know uh, off the top of my head, but I would say this is probably 40 grams or so, but it's a beautiful functional piece. Uh, and, and, you know, word of, uh, of advice, if you're going to sell things that are sterling silver that are tarnished, uh, almost all the time it, it's appropriate to leave them with the patina on them. People who want to polish sterling silver or, or will do so themselves, but a lot of collectors like to keep it in its original form. So if you get something 
I would I would uh, recommend not polishing it because you actually uh, it's counterintuitive. You you think you're you're helping it sell, but in a lot of cases you might actually uh, hurt yourself. You might end up having less people who want to um, buy it because you do it. Beautiful picture, man. I hope this is sterling silver. Whew. It's quite heavy. This would be nice. What do we got here? Let's get in and see. What does it say? Can you zoom, please, for me? Come on now. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Sterling. Oh, my goodness. It's not even... It didn't say weighted. This entire thing is sterling silver. Are you kidding me? First Chanel and Gucci and Louis Vuitton handbags. Now you're telling me you've got a bunch of antique, large, heavy pieces of sterling silver? Oh, pool silver coming. Okay, EPCO. So this is going to be silver plated, but it's a it's a nice uh, functional piece. It's got glass in this in the inside. This would be, you know, would hold let's say ice, and you put a bottle of champagne or something like that up in there. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, it's pretty heavily tarnished, as you can see. Uh, is this the top? Yeah, I bet that's the top. Nice. So you've got a nice functional piece here that you could uh, use to put your your bottles of Dom Perignon or whatever. <laughs> Okay, nice. Another little thing here. This is Germany, but this is going to be silver plated, and I'm guessing this is uh, to hold a candle. So maybe some of those. Here's a nice, like, ladle. Oh, beautiful etched design. Again, it's heavily faded, so this could be uh, silver plated, although, I don't know, it could be sterling. Let's see if we find a mark down here. I uh, put it by my legs so that we can zoom better see what we're dealing with here what do we have i'm gonna flip it over i apologize bear with me here this is all part of it um goodness gracious what do we got it does it says sterling i've got it i got it flipped the wrong way but it's this is also sterling you can see it right there and then here are the marks these are assay marks uh, this appears to be uh, European to me. We've got the lion, we've got an anchor, and we got a bee. So this is probably produced in Brighton, and the, and I imagine that the um, the anchor is another indication that this is sterling silver. But that is a very beautiful uh, etched ladle. Uh, gorgeous. I love it. Man, we got a bunch of sterling silver in here. My goodness. Definitely going to be collectible. Here's a large, a large bowl. Also appears to me, based on the, the pattern of, of tarnish, that this could be sterling as well. But we need to look. Uh, yep, it's upside down, but it does say sterling. So another large bowl. So beautiful. Again, now I got the silver buyers out there drooling because uh, of what's down in here. Here's another one. I won't make you suffer through looking at all of this, but it looks like there are several other pieces oh, of sterling silver in here. Now let's grab a couple of these things that seem like odd cats, odd men out here. And let's take a look at what we got. So this is some kind of container in here. It looks like uh, a plastic of some kind, potentially, oh, what is this? Hold on, let me let me use both my hands to pull this out. Okay, this is what we're looking at here, <laughs> Brody, or Brodie, and it looks like a miniature game, maybe like a toy for children. But it is. Look at this. You could you flip it, and it's maybe this was a, a, an old miniature um, gambling game, but it's like a slot. It's like a machine, like a slot machine that would you know gives you the cherries or whatever else. And you flip it over and you can see the mechanism in there, quite old. You can see that there's some condition issues on that uh, because this is like an enamel stuff that's kind of starting to deteriorate. It's by the Show Nut Company in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is quite old and it comes in this little container. That's very, very cool. And then let's push this in, uh, push it in, I believe, straighten it up. Ah, so these are probably, my guess would be like opera glasses or something like that. Oh, look at that beautiful pink tone, mother of pearl carved. And it is, it looks to be entirely intact. Oh goodness, that's beautiful. You can see a little bit of the green corrosion around that brass metal there. But um, the top, and you also see some of that has worn off, but it does say Paris. 
And uh, le, let's see, what does that say? What's that word? Something, I can't quite make it out. But it's beautiful. And these would be, yeah, these would be like when you're sitting and you're watching the opera. Oh, it's to, to uh, what does it say? To Francis, 1850? Man, that's old. 1850. Beautiful little pair. Those will definitely sell. All right, folks, still trucking. Not even halfway done, and we probably had a couple thousand dollars, maybe a little bit more than that in that case as well. Now what do we have? This all looks to be the same. Uh, it is an entire set. It appears to be an entire set of a particular type of plate setting, a table setting. And it appears to be some, maybe Linux or something like that. You can see that it's got a nice print, but then it also has this section here that is um, like, uh, you know, you can feel it's textured. Um, it's like it's coming out. So that's interesting. It looks really good condition, like it's probably not been ever cleaned or, or eaten on. And what are we looking for here? Okay, this is Linux. It's the Autumn design, Autumn by Linux. So it would be very easy to go to eBay and just look up Linux Autumn and then just see what's selling. Are the whole set selling? Are people really just kind of buying and selling the individual pieces to, to re replace ones that maybe they're missing or, or broken over time? Is it a collectible uh, design for Linux? Is it not? There, it just varies. Some of their stuff can sell for quite a bit. Others, it's hard to even give it away. So we'll take a look at that, but it's nice to have a whole set. I'll have to look and see what uh, this is a setting for. Is this a setting for eight, for 10, for 12 people? Uh, and what comes along with it? Are we getting, do we have saucers and, and, and uh, teacups? Uh, are there bowls or pitchers down here? In fact, this feels like a pretty large size bowl that definitely goes along. It's all packaged quite nicely. The only thing that's difficult about this is if you sell a whole set, then you got to go make sure you're packing that stuff really well because things like this are quite fragile. Glass and ceramic ware can be difficult to get to your buyer without getting damaged. Sometimes it might require multiple packages. Packages. You just need to work that out with the seller so they know when they get something that there are other pieces coming in a separate package. Let's jump over here to this box. It looks like we have a variety of things in here. We've got what appear to be some statues. We have a beanie baby. It looks like perhaps this is the Princess Diana one, maybe. Is that right? It's the royal color purple with the white rose. Uh, it should say, I think, on, on one of these on the tag. Uh, I guess I'd need to, to take it out and look at it, but I'm not sure. I could, I could take a look. Well, will it say here maybe? Yeah. Princess. Yep. So this is the print. This was made, uh, I think in memoriam for Princess Diana. Uh, God rest her. And then, um, and then we got this Barbie keychain. <laughs> it's newer folks, but it's made to look like the 19... What would that have been? 1950s, 1960s uh, style of the Barbie back in the back in the day. 19 from five, 59 to 75. So this would have been from early like the the or late 50s to early 60s probably. Yeah, like there. 1950, 1960. So this is the 19 supposed to be based on the 1960 Barbie. Now, I'm sure there's collectors for that because Barbie is a pretty collectible uh, item. And we got here. We got this interesting little box with some. Um, it looks like maybe a. Uh, um, you know, children from some some European country, possibly, uh, you know, Switzerland or Austria or something up there. And inside we have this box. It looks like there's either some conditions issues here or maybe there was something originally glued on here that is now missing. That is a beautiful wood, though. It looks to me almost like a... Mm, like a Brazilian rosewood or something. That's beautiful. That's a tone wood that they use that on instruments and uh, it's quite beautiful and turned out to be a really nice tone wood for instruments as well. But if we open this thing up, uh, well, that's the hinged side. Come on, Rusty. Oh, nice. So this is like a little, <laughs> it looks like a little tobacco box. I don't want to pull that because it's screwed in, but there's a little button here. And so I believe this is a music box. Oh, so, or like, I think it's probably made for tobacco, pro, uh, tobacco product, but also, um, 
made to, to play music when you open it, which is very interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. So on the bottom, let's see if we can get this puppy working. Until, until two morrow, which is probably the name of the song that we're going to hear. So if I, uh, let's see, Oop, I don't want to go the wrong way. I wonder if I can't crank it if it's not, uh, oh, if it's closed. Come on now. Man, fiddling around with this thing. Let's see if I can't. I don't want to damage it. Okay. Probably it's supposed to... All right, well, it's not working currently, but you can see inside of here is the music portion, and maybe uh, I could remove these little screws and do some work. I would love to get it in working condition before I attempt to sell it for them, because it'll, it'll make a better price. I hate the damage that's on top here. There's not a whole lot that can be done about it. It might have had some sort of colored medallions or something uh, of children or something on here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Musical cigarette box made in Switzerland. Okay, so it is Swiss. It is made for tobacco. And uh, it's funny to me that um, you've got a, a children-themed tobacco box. Uh, but, you know, uh, the, the opinions and, and, and research and knowledge about tobacco and, and how it can be harmful was not well known or known at all probably back in the time that that was <clears throat> produced so okay so we got some weird kind of newer things now let's uh i don't want to get a bunch of these out because they all look to be basically probably the same type but let's pull one or two out of these out and see what we're looking at all right so i've pulled two of these out um i can see that this is of a lovely uh young woman it looks like. I want to be careful. I'm going to wrap these back up when I'm done. Well, let's start by going down here and looking at this. What are we looking at here? Florence Dawn, the coming of the new millennium. Uh, Giuseppe Armani. Okay, so, <laughs> wow. All right, so these are, are quite nice and are going to be quite valuable. Uh, without even knowing which one, my guess is this is going to be, these are each going to be worth several hundred dollars, if not into the thousands, depending on condition and the specific one. So let me try to get at least this young lady uh, unpackaged. So yeah, my goodness. So this is, you can see that the, the work here is quite uh, exquisite. You got this woman with her hair. She's making this uh, pose. You got some beautiful colors here all the way down in her dress. And just the sculpture, like just the, the work, the artistry here. It's signed, as you can see. Uh, by the artist right here in the back it says 1999 Florence so we know the year we know the name of it we know who made it it is signed which is really good for um, for pieces like this to show the signature but just the work and the craftsmanship is quite uh, quite nice quite impressive here's again it's a limited edition and this is almost in the first thousand of five thousand five thousand were made this is uh, number one thousand and three and maybe a couple of little scuffs here but overall it's in really really nice condition and then again on the bottom we've still got um you know the the code and even the uh the uh the the pr not the price but um you know the original stickers and tags that's nice so it looks like we have one two three four five six seven eight wow what a awesome and this one right here I can read says Florence Stardust. So it's Stardust, it's also Armani. My guess is that all of these are Armani brand, uh, and these are quite nice. So we got a couple little, little flyers in the bottom here. Uh, Rogers. Oop, can we zoom in on this, please? Here we go. Rogers AAI. So this is going to be, I believe, uh, a silver plated. Oh, look at this. We got some initials. That's cool. Monogrammed for whoever owned it. And then this little ditty here. It's like a little chair. 
<laughs> Look at that filigree work. This is quite old, folks. This is quite old. Early 1900s, probably more 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 likely to be uh, 1800s. I would not be surprised if this was made out of sterling silver. I would need to inspect it more closely to to determine and or do some testing. Does it say on this little spot here? Nope, there's no words. I'm looking around to see if I can identify any marks or something, but I don't know if this was made to be like a miniature uh, in a chair, but it is quite cute, and I know somebody would like that. By the way, I just wanted you to know, as I was putting them back, I noticed that there are several of these in here. So each one of these, I'm assuming, if not some of them, have their own boxed, unopened certificate of authenticity for these, which is fantastic to have uh, when selling these. It's just like the best case scenario. Only thing that could have been better is if the original packaging for them was in here too. And you know what? Some of it might be. I don't know. Um, what a cool setup. So we've got high-end handbags we've got sterling silver and silver plated items we've got baccarat we've got swarovski crystal we've got 1990s authentic band t-shirts <laughs> oh my goodness so much good stuff and then let's jump into this box here and pull it back and it is more uh, more silver or possibly silver plated items these are really interesting. Look at this. It's like a, a moose. We're pulling a sleigh or something. We got, looks like reindeer. Looks like up here we've got almost like, yeah, like reindeer. I've seen things like this before, and I think that this is Swedish in origin, but I'm not 100% sure. I need to look. You got this man here. And down here, you've got this almost like a reindeer again. If you flip it over, we're going to have some marks here. Um, we've got COP, T8, and some assay marks. So my guess is that this is probably silver. I don't think it's 925, like a sterling silver. It's probably more like an 800 silver or something like that. Just meaning 800 parts out of 1,000 instead of 925 parts out of 1,000. But we have like a little spatula type serving, you know, knife here, whatever. We've got two or three spoons, maybe more. And we got some little um, tongs as well. And the thing that's kind of cool about these that you can't quite tell by looking is that you see these little dangly, uh, they got these little rings. So it kind of makes a little bit of noise and it's just like an interesting look it's got them on bottoms of all of these here and here so that's cool i'm gonna lay these back down here and just sort of pick through a couple of other things here's a really interesting long spoon with a hole look at the the stem of that very long very beautiful um very very cool and uh, let's make our way up yep here we are let's see if we can find the mark again as we're investigating and see, is this going to be, see, it says Wa, Watrous Manufacturing Company. So I think, and you can see by this, my guess is that this is a, a silver plated item, though I need to do a little bit more uh, research. And then we've got, <clears throat> we've got some uh, little goblets or little, uh, with a, looks like a, oh, look at this. So it's got a star. Perhaps a star of David, and it looks like, um, it looks like, uh, is that Hebrew? Uh, is that Hebrew language? Uh, uh, letters, possibly? This, perhaps, this, uh, if that is, in fact, what it is, this may have b uh, belonged to uh, a Jewish individual. I'm looking around to see if there are any marks. A lot of times they have them down here on the ring or on the underside, and we'll look at that next here to see is there any sort of mark anywhere hmm not seeing it i can i can investigate cl more closely uh it's probably silver plated based on the tarnish and also the fact that i'm having a difficult time finding any sort of marks indicating that it would be something other than sterling silver we've got lots of we've got lots of other uh dishes plates 
uh, other, you know, utensils. These are beautiful. Uh, this one, uh, you know, these could be silver. Oh, yep, right here. You can see the mark right there. Sterling silver. So that's sterling silver. This one, my guess is the band and or this portion is silver. But this down here is carved mother of pearl. It's abalone pearl. Um, or like mother of pearl. It comes from the ocean, of course. And then, yep, so right here by my thumbnail, a tiny little mark. And it says sterling. So this... <sighs> and so many pieces of sterling silver. I'm about to go crazy. Look at this right here. This one right here too. See it? And you look in the back. This is a good video for people like learning how to inspect stuff and look for marks. Um, come on now. Can you pull? There we go. See that right there? Oh, it popped off. Sterling. Sterling silver. So that's another one that's sterling. I'm just curious about a couple of about a couple of these bigger ones. Are these also going to be sterling silver? Or are these going to be silver plate? Look at this. Beautiful roses. I don't even know what you would use this for. It almost looks like the shape of an ashtray. Um, but we should find some kind of mark uh, either back here or again on a rim uh, somewhere around the back. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm not. So oh, here we go. There you go, sterling silver. My goodness gracious, so much cool. So many cool pieces of sterling silver. This one is even larger and heavier. Probably also sterling. I'm going to look in the same spot around like we did on the last one because it looks like it's roughly maybe the same manufacturer. See if we can't find a mark here someplace. Nope, I should have just gone to the back. Look at that, there it is. Sterling again, gorgeous pieces of sterling silver um uh you know tableware beautiful uh just beautifully um shaped and carved you know some of this stuff and i'm not saying that this is it but you know um old uh what was his name um Oh, he's the uh, the father of Art Nouveau, basically. Mucha, Mucha, Alphonse Mucha. Not only did he make artwork, but he actually designed stuff like this. Jewelry, uh, uh, things for all over your home, actually. And some of that stuff was actually manufactured. You know, I should do some research before I just up and sell this. Even though I know it'll be valuable because it's sterling silver, it could perhaps have been designed by someone famous like that. And if it is, in fact, or if I ever come across things like that, that can bring a lot more value. So if you find things like that, sometimes you want to check and see, like, was it designed by a famous designer or artist? Because that can bring a lot more value than even the fact that it's made out of silver. Rolling over here, I see another box and more, more silver. <laughs> and again, some of the, so, so like, so like some of these kind of have a look of possibly uh, silver plated. Uh, and that they're not, in fact, sterling. Uh, I'm going to look around the back and see if I... Yeah, these, these this one definitely has more of that. Do you see this kind of like splotchy and iridescent uh, kind of look? That's usually more indicative of something that is silver plated uh, and not silver. In fact, sterling, in fact, I found a mark here. Pilgrim, and it says silver plate. Do you see the difference here in this kind of iridescent kind of really uh, uh, um, kind of matte color and something like this? Do you see how this has got almost like a yellowish or orangish tint as it, uh, as it um, tarnishes, whereas that's a little bit different? That's the difference in the look of a tarnished silver plated. It doesn't have silver on the outside of it, but it has a different alloy underneath and then something that is, in fact, fully sterling silver. In fact, again, based on that principle, I'm going to guess that this piece right here is silver plated until I see otherwise. Just based on the look of it, I'm looking around the back. On the bottom, we'll find the mark right here oh no this is actually sterling but do you see see how this is it has got that iridescent a little bit but it also has that yellowish orangish color and what an interesting piece that is but i was going to say if i were to guess based on the look of it i would guess that this large piece here is probably going to be sterling because of the way that it, it has has tarnished but again i have been wrong well it's a it's a fifty fifty because see see we hear that you see this iridescent 
kind of color again, but now I've got the, the challenge of finding the mark. So a lot of times they like to put it on the straight on the back or on the back rim, somewhere around here. My guess would have been that it would have been back here because it would have been easily uh, discovered. But I'm not going to waste your time a lot with me looking around trying to find um, the mark on this. Um, but we'll move on. I do want to tell you, though, whether or not it ends up... Oh, is it the is it right here? No, I guess not. Doggone yous. Hard to find sometimes. All right, I did find it. It was so hard to see because it was not etched hard. It's right here. And it does say WM Rogers... And it has some numbers. It does not say sterling. So I guess this is a silver plated item. I'll have to do some research on that. It's possible it may still be uh, solid silver. But I know for a fact that this is sterling. So I'm going to move this over to where most of the other stuff that is sterling. But I got a lot to look through. But there are some just absolutely gorgeous pieces in this lot. Oh my goodness, cousins. Well, folks, <clears throat> we got four more tubs to go. Let's just jump into it. Uh, there's no telling what's going to be in here. Oh, look, more silver. <laughs> oh, you ever get tired of seeing a bunch of solid silver stuff? For me, if you're me, the answer is no. This is probably... What do we got here? Yep, it's sterling. Let's see. Look at that. Boom. Sterling silver. This whole huge deal with the lid. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my. And look at the fittings here that are made out of, like, bone or something. It's possible, as I'm looking at this, I'm trying to zoom in for you, it's possible that this is made out of ivory. And I hope not, because you're not supposed to sell ivory. It's illegal. Um, it might not be. I'll have to do a little bit more investigation, but that is a, just an absolutely gorgeous piece. We don't have to uh, filter through all of this stuff. A few more little spoons here that are cute. Um, I have to look those up because they don't say on the back of them what they are. Here's another really pretty... Another really pretty piece here, also sterling, same uh, make and type type as this one. And then just like, look at all of these more gorgeous. That's gotta be silver as well. My guess is that several of these are also sterling. This one is, you can see right here, if I can get this mess to zoom in for me. Come on, zoom in, and then, come on, here we go right there. Do you see it's very faint, but it says Sterling right there in the middle. Oh, man. My man alive. Man alive. Look at that. This one also is probably Sterling. Looking around the side. Here we go. This is the mark right here. Let me flip it back over so you can see it. S-T-E-R. Sterling. My goodness, monogrammed, all this stuff is my. These are all things, folks, from the 1800s. Like, these, none of these are new. These are all 100 to 150 years old, every single one of these that I'm showing you. They're very old. This has got an etched, like, bow, like it's holding on to a thing. This is like a, a carry, you would carry this, and I don't know if it's carrying, to carry a candle. This might be a weighted silver, based on the look of the bottom. Yep, it is. So it says cement it says sterling, but it's cement reinforced, meaning that the very bottom of this has a little bit of cement in it. So if you were to weigh it and try to sell it, uh, it actually um, is not 100%. The entire thing is not 100% silver. There's a little bit of cement in there to keep the base weighted so it doesn't just fall over on itself. But here's the sterling one. This is not weighted. Uh, man, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces in here. I'm just beside myself with excitement. All right. Three to go. Let's flip over to here. Oh, something's something is uh, wrapped up real nicely here. Let's unfold this and uh, see what we're dealing with. I can see something that says France, which is kind of cool. Um, and uh, 
Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, beautiful bowl. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, I say bowl. It's more like a platter, kind of like a plate. Very interesting. It is glass, though it is more of a frosted top. We'll put this around and take a look here. Oh my goodness, no way, no way. Look at this, you can see I'm holding my phone here. But made in France, and that's not what you need to look at. Look at this. Do you know what that says, folks? It says Lalique. This is a Lalique branded platter. Oh heavens. Do you know I have never, since I've been doing this full time, had a piece of genuine Lalique that I was able to sell. And I am so excited right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. We had all these high-end French handbags and stuff earlier. Oh man, tell me this is also a Lalique bowl, please. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. And it is, I almost guarantee you that it is. Oh, that is just incredible. Look at the detail work. This is just gorgeous. I mean, some of these things, folks, are like high-end estate or high-end auction house items. I'm not kidding you. Whew, look at that. Yes, and here we go. Here we go. We're going to find it. It is. It's Lalique as well. French Lalique. Oh my goodness. It is indented. Do you see how this is textured? This is not flat. This is all textured. Just the sheer ingenuity. The design idea is beautiful, but to pull it off in this way is just absolutely incredible. I am so excited. I do not know. Man, I should have I should have saved this part for last. Although, who knows? What are we gonna find in here? Solid gold bricks? My goodness. My goodness gracious. Okay, so we've got some some more, uh, looks like glass wear <clears throat> here. It's very, boy, they've done such a nice job of packaging this stuff. It's going to make it so helpful for me whenever I go about shipping this stuff once it sells. Let's see what we're looking at here. We've got, um, it's so well packaged. Oh, beautiful little glasses. Look at that. I wonder, oh, man. I don't see any names of any manufacturer right off the get-go, but these are very interesting. You see how these are indented, and they've got gold leaf in there. Gold leaf are on the edge. Looks like they've never been used. Beautiful. And it's looking like there's a, an entire set of these, including larger items like this. Well, you see this? I don't want to have to unwrap the entire thing, but uh, it's, it's you can see it in there. It's quite large, probably seven eight inches tall maybe a pitcher of some kind or i don't know but that's awesome i'll have to do some research on those uh to see but again i'm gonna have to be very careful about packaging this stuff if i sell it as a lot but i may end up selling these individually just because i'll be worried that they might get damaged in transit okay drum roll please this is the very last tub and you know what i don't even care if there's nothing valuable in this folks because of all the awesome stuff we found today Okay, what do we got? More Swarovski. There's a box. It feels a little empty, but more Swarovski stuff. Swarovski crystal. These might be containers, and then the actual pieces might be uh, folded up in here. So it's looking like we have we have Swarovski stuff. This might end up being something like a picture frame or something like that. Oh yeah, look at this. Lots of different, ooh, I don't want to break those. But these are like little mirrors. Huh, well, that's why I wonder if those go in, into things that are in here. Um, I, have no, I have no idea, but other pieces, large pieces. Oh my, this is, whatever this is, is quite large. Oh, it's like a, is that a dragon? we have here I'm gonna lay you down his claws are coming look he's trying to he's trying to, to spike me oh, okay oh yeah wow look at this it's too many spikies in order to get this puppy unwrapped wow that is fascinating looking 
Let go of it, please. Okay. Here we are. Okay, set that there. Look at this. He's holding his little crystal ball. It's a it's a it's a very large dragon type creature. Sitting or standing rather on this large piece of crystal that's colored on the bottom and if I if I flip her around and I can look and see it says crafted it says crafted in China okay so this is not a Swarovski and it's also uh, you can see though it has like a do you see the etched portion on the bottom of it it has the name of the uh, FM or MF something like initials probably the designer or something but that's certainly going to sell that's interesting someone who's into like um Dungeons and Dragons or, you know, Magic the Gathering or something like that would probably be interested in a piece such as that. Here's another, uh, I can see another wing, so there's another dragon here, and, uh, yep, there's another dragon down there. I got, I got dragons, folks. We got dragons. Um, and just, just more and more stuff. Swarovski crystal stuff. Here's another Swarovski, probably a, a, a uh, yeah, I imagine that this is like an ornament. Whew, folks, I mean, goodness gracious. So, we're looking at uh, statues, sculptures, Swarovski crystal, Armani sculptures, tons of sterling silver antique items, Baccarat stuff, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, um, uh, uh, you know, all those other well-known brands. <sighs> Folks, this is just an, what an incredible lot. I hope that you've enjoyed this as much as I have because now the real work begins. Getting it all out, getting it all uh, photographed, getting it all uh, investigated, determining price. Should it be buy it now? Should it be auction? Uh, what's it going to cost and how difficult is it going to be to package and shipping these things? Do I sell them individually? Do I sell them in groups? There's a lot to be done here, folks, but uh, either way, I think that the people who I'm selling this for are going to be very happy. There are some high dollar items in here and I cannot wait to get them some of this money. Folks, thanks so much for hanging out with this video. I hope you learned maybe a thing or two. I hope you were able to change your shirt after you got done drooling. Uh, I'm going to have to go change mine here in a minute. Um, but why don't you leave a What do you think all of this is worth? When it's all said and done and I'm able to get all this up and listed and it sells, what are we looking at here? $10,000? $20,000? $30,000? What do you think that this lot is worth? I am such a privilege to be able to, to look at this stuff and sell this for people. I, I love helping people with problems and also getting them some money for stuff that they don't need or want anymore. Um, I'd love to do more and more of this uh, selling for other people. Uh, I love the interpersonal part of it, building rapport, meeting people in my community, all good things, folks. Um, please, uh, if you found something cool lately, leave us a comment. Let us know what it was. We'll be back really soon uh, with more items. I didn't even get to show you any stuff I bought recently. This is all other people's things. Uh, I found some really cool high-end jewelry, some nice artwork, all kinds of stuff, but that's going to be coming next week. Also, make sure you check out the What Sold channel because we're going to start dropping videos from our podcast and also more of our standard videos, which is just us showing you the exact things that sold in our eBay stores, showing you what it sold for, telling you where we got it and what to look for. We'll see you real soon. Be safe and take care. Be -do -bo -bo -bo. Let's go make some money. Busty. Rusty ham to Rusty, Rusty, Rusty ham to Rusty, Rusty.